Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to create this abstract colorful gradient flower in Illustrator. So first thing, we're going to make the gradient so you can understand how to do these effects. And after that, we're going to apply it on that flower. I'm going to choose a circle, long click and select the ellipse tool, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it up. And I'm going to increase the stroke thickness. So I'm going to go here to the width where the stroke is. I'm going to increase the thickness. And as you can see, the stroke is right now inside. We want this to be in the center. So here is the align stroke. Click on align stroke to center. Okay, so from here, make sure that you're on the fill at the moment. So this is the fill. I'm going to go here to the gradient, click on the gradient and type in here 90 degrees. So I'm going to change up the colors. I'm going to go with an orange and I'm going to make this lighter like so. I'm going to press and hold alt, drag the circle to the center. As you can see, this way it creates a new copy. I'm going to double click and do the same process. And from here, we're going to color the stroke. We're going to add this nice uh, gold effect. So right now we're in the fill. What you need to do here is click on the stroke. So this way the stroke is going to be on the top. Now the fill is on the bottom. Now you go back to the gradient here and you click on this again. We're going to type in 90 degrees again. And uh, now I'm going to remove this and recolor it with gold. So the gold color is some yellow brownish nuance here and there. So and as you can see here, I tapped into the orange color. So in order to make it more brown, you're going to pull this to the green. So if you add more green, it's going to become more brown. Okay, so I finished the gradients. Now we're going to create the flower. I'm going to long press here where the circle is, select the rectangle tool. I'm going to select this area here, select both, go to Pathfinder and select minus front. If you don't have the Pathfinder, go to Windows and select the Pathfinder. Usually it's not activated. From here, I'm going to select the rotate tool, press and hold alt and click on this anchor point, the edge and type in 30 degrees and click on copy. See that? Select both and go to the Pathfinder again and select minus front again, okay? From here, select the rotate tool again and press and hold alt again and, and click on the same exact anchor point here on the bottom. Click 30 degrees, click on copy and press control D until it goes round and round. Thanks so much for watching and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one, bye bye. Oh! <laughs>